all over the map. And if I was to ask you what management theories that you know, you would probably immediately say Maslow. And then some of you smarter ones would say, oh, but there's Hertzberg. And then the real crazy smart ones that are going to school right now, get working on their master's degree, would say McClellan. And you start to quote all these theorists. Well, I made a commitment to myself a couple years ago. I would never again quote somebody who's dead. So I thought, why don't I just take what I observe and see if I can come up with my own theory, my own model. And so that's where this came from. See, from where I sit and what I see, there's no hierarchy, really. Because depending on what's going on, every day it could be something different. And if you can get some handles on what's going on with a person, you know, you're going to go a long way to figuring out what's wrong with a person's will. Now, we start in the middle and we work our way out. So our middle ring here is a definition of motivation. Motivation happens when people get what they need when they need it. So here we are, 35 minutes into this boring talk. What are some of you beginning to feel the need for? A little nap, right? And if right now I said, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring in some aromatherapy. Um, you all can lay down on some yoga mats. Um, we're going to put some hot rocks on your back. And we're going to play some yoga music. And we're still going to get out of here, too. And you still get your HRCI credit. How many of you would be all right with that? You would. You said, this is awesome. You see, you've got what you need when you need it. you got your nap. Now you feel refreshed. Um, so if you would... Pull your chairs out, because I'm not, Amy, can you bring the mats in? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that, because we just couldn't do that. But this is really the central point. When you get what you need when you need it, you become motivated. The big question is, what is it that you need? Well, we can go to this inner ring. And I do believe this inner ring is the closest cousin you're going to find to Mr. Maslow. But this is absolutely true. When you've got stuff going on, you aren't totally focused. About a month and a half ago, um, I had a real important client I had to deal with, and it was in the Tennessee area. And my dog, Sonny, got hit and killed by a car that morning. And I was just devastated. But I also realized that the people in that group could care less about that. They needed someone who was 100% into their problem. And so I sucked it up. But do you think I was on my game that day? Not at all. I don't think they ever knew it. I wouldn't mention it. But everybody's got stuff that goes on. And so this is where it's very important that you take time to build rapport with people so that they're going to be comfortable and say, you know what, if I'm not on my game today, um, my, my mom just got diagnosed with cancer. Um, my husband is leaving me. My kids are getting bad grades at school, and I'm worried about them. That impacts the job. Your job is to listen and, if possible, provide resources for them. Managers need to understand if you have an EAP system, that they need to use that. Their job is not to be Dr. Phil to people, their job is to get them the resources that they need. And you will definitely have a will problem if there's something that is going on outside of work. And you know what, in the Navy we would always say, those kids didn't get issued to you in your sea bag. That's not my problem. But in fact, it, it is their problem, it does become their problem. So be a little bit open to this, make sure you're getting resources. Now beyond that, it's all bets are off. What we're going to do is we're going to walk through this motivation wheel, and you can take notes on this if you like, but what I want you to do right now is to visualize the worst person that works in your organization. All right? And let's see if you can figure out what one's going to light up for them. This is not a hierarchy like Maslow. This is more like whack-a-mole, because it doesn't really matter. They can all light up, and your job is to whack them with a hammer. 